comedy is there to make us laugh, to relieve our pain, to relieve our, our endless ruminations on the things that are not funny at all in life. I'm talking about my life, my experiences, and in a very funny way. I mean, and it's, and it's a clever play uh, in that we have the audience very interactive. We have the audience involved in it in many ways. So it's fun, it's, it's different. What I'm talking about is the pain that one lives in, in mental illness, if one doesn't seek treatment. And my path was just wrought with pain through my life until I couldn't bear it anymore and had to get help. Uh, and you can make a choice to be happy. So what I'm trying to do as a mental health advocate, by telling my story, uh, which is amazingly fun, because I had a lot of fun in my life too, and bad girl things that I did, bad choices make good stories. But uh, the, the essence of the play is the strength one has, the courage one has to find inside to face the reality of your life, yourself, your emotions, your feelings. And if they're not right, get help. When the bipolar really came on, when I was deep in my marriage with Pierre and in, a, in the role as the wife of the Prime Minister, which was a very unfamiliar place for, for myself as a young woman to be, and I was very lonely and I was very isolated and I was judged by people who didn't even know me. I didn't want to be put on a pedestal. I didn't want to be told how to behave and how to, how to think and how to act. I wanted to be real. I wanted to be myself. And that's hard if you're a woman. I've had five of the most beautiful children. I have nine grandchildren now. I, my life has been hard. I've had the worst things happen to me in losing my son and my darling Pierre all, all together and just so dark and so sad and so unhealthy. And I, I was able to get that. Normalize it. Get people to talk about it. Because why put on a mask and hide when you'll keep hitting the same wall over and over again from your wrong thinking, from your confusion in your brain, which you don't accept. You think your brain's perfect and nobody understands you. But clearly it's that you need some help.